It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the Indiana Pacers going up against the Dallas Mavericks. Alongside Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, we're expecting a low-scoring game here tonight, Mike. Both teams have dominant defenses. And that starts with their effort. They each play really hard on the defensive end. Whichever team that makes their jump shots, I think they win this one. Mike, Homer on the road, defense travels, doesn't it? I mean, we know that to be one of the things that all coaches kind of try to hang their head on. You're not going to make shots every night, whether you're home or on the road. But you know you can play hard every night at the defensive end of the floor. Here's Aguirre. The teardrop falls in. Aguirre often uses his strength to create offense, but that shot was all finesse. Here is Seasting. Passes it to Carter. Here's Kellogg. The Mavericks pull it in. This their first chance this season playing the Pacers. To the middle, Blackman. And the dunk to finish it off. A ah, beauty. The lead pass. Executing one takes a high basketball IQ. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Williams passes to Seasting. Fades away. Vincent with the rebound. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on you. Aguirre, good. Aguirre. Nice job by Aguirre. Finding available space down low and exploiting it. Carter outside. Pass to Seasting. Here's Kellogg. Another shot. And it's good on the way in. Look at this young man clean that glass, finishing plays, doing everything you want from a combo forward. Just plays the game the right way. You know, kind of makes me feel like I'm staring in a mirror at times. Blackman, the pass to Aguirre. To the inside, here's Vincent. Makes it off the glass. Nice vision by Aguirre, creating an easy scoring opportunity by finding the open man. The Pacers have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Seasting passes to Williams. Shoots a fader. That shot off the mark. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. You know, basically they got outworked on the glass in that one. They did not grab their share of rebounds in that particular game. Poor rebounding is a recipe for disaster. You're not getting second chances or denying the other team possessions. One shot. That one misses for Aguirre. When you think about Mark Aguirre, you immediately think scoring. Ziggy is out there to put points on the board. And it's Carter missing. I thought that one would go down. A little puzzling, it didn't. Here's Davis. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Pacers trail by eight. Shot from 16. Kellogg can't get it to go. That was superb defense, guys. No way he was going to let him get off a clean look at the basket. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Look, Blackman is a fantastic free throw shooter. You need to foul somebody else. The Mavericks have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
That free throw missing. And Blackman is a dangerous player. Good size, nice shooting stroke, and he can turn it up quickly. Shoots a high percentage from just about everywhere. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Uncharacteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. And then Carter with the dunk. Turning up the intensity dial here. Trying to rally his team right now. Uh, you're right. That jam might be just what they need. Certainly lit a little fire under the bench. Hopefully the guys on the floor are feeling it too. Here's Nymphius. The Pacers making the shot. Davis up top. Six to shoot. Here's Blackman. Pacers with the rebound. Well, we've seen him make this shot often with no defensive coverage. He's got to be kicking himself he didn't make that one. Now here's Williams. Against Phoenix, he was really on his game. Kellogg passes to Williams. Johnson the screen. Here's Seasting. Hits from the high post. Superb use of the pick and roll. Seasting realizes exactly how to break down defenses. The pass to Vincent. Pass to Aguayo. Dallas, no good that time either. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Indiana Pacers. Four-point game. Johnson kicks to Williams. Passes to Carter. Vincent with the rebound. Vincent's got his fourth rebound in this one. McGuire passes to Davis. Now, here is Aguirre. Defense is right there. Does not find the target. That makes him three for five. The Pacers shooting a pretty distressing 27% here in the early minutes. Here's Kellogg. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And some of the rookies now getting their feet wet, Mike, in the NBA. What are some of the more difficult adjustments to make as an NBA rookie? Learning all the rotations and defensive nuances, off the court, the travel, being away from the family, and on and on. And do you, do you give them to it in, in small portions? Do you try to lay the whole thing out in front of them? How, what's the timing of things like that? And you understand, Kevin, that when the race begins, you got to stay up with the rest of the people or your horse is finishing last. <laughs> that's, that's a tough place to be. Not the biggest, but Kellogg will do the dirty work on the boards. No good on the second free throw. Dallas leading by three. Pass to Aguirre. Here's Nymphius trying to end the drought. That shot is off. Excellent D there from Williams. Carter down low. The pass to Seasting. Inside. Kellogg. That's good. Kellogg's got five points so far. We've seen the jumper from Kellogg. It's good, but I like him getting closer. Going for a high percentage looks. Dallas calls timeout.
Dallas moving it around. To the left side wing. Pass to Blackman. Lock at six. Now, here is Aguirre. And now they're just one foul away from being in the bonus. I expect to see them attacking more now, trying to get the defense to give up that next foul. Down low, Vincent. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Jerry Vincent taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for. good on the second so he hits one of two Indiana trailing here here's Kellogg another key contributor to that nice win against Phoenix and he's able to get it back here's Vincent a shot off that time Williams with the defensive effort here is Seasting he's guarded by Davis Seasting passes to Carter. Here's Kellogg. With the second effort. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Kellogg's teammates and coaches encourage him to be aggressive inside. This is how he draws fouls. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And Indiana making a change here. Tied up with that one. The Mavericks have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. 5 of 11. Davis, the pass to Aguayo. Kellogg pulls it in. Kellogg's got rebound number 8 now on the night. Into the lane. Passes it to Seasting. A baseline J. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Wires got four rebounds in this game. Here's Blackman. Pass to Nymphius. Out to the wing. Vincent the pass to Nymphius. Four on the shot clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Here's Blackman. Dallas no good that time either. Blackman's gone. One of three shooting so far. The pass to Seasting. And here is Williams. Over Aguirre. Williams, that's good. And the Pacers lead by two. Yeah, Seasting has good vision on the floor. He finds the ready shooter and makes sure he gets fed. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game.
And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. We'll take a look at the Mavericks. This season has been a struggle for them. They're down at the bottom of the conference. against Chamberlain. Harper the pass to Spinarkle. Ellis on top over Chamberlain. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Ellis has got the game tied up here for Dallas. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Now, here's Johnson. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Well, that time he got the defense off balance with the well-timed pump fake. Nice work. Pass to Spinarkle. West with the ball. It's rebounded by Kelly. Here's McKenna. Defended by West. Johnson down low. Ellis on him. Out of bounds, it'll be Maverick's ball. Maverick's ball. The Mavericks trailing. Harper kicks to Ellis. In West now, top of the key. Releases. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And for the Pacers, they're shooting only around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Chamberlain, the pass to Johnson. Tries from seven. And again, it's Indiana. This is why coaches preach ball movement. It keeps everyone engaged. Mavericks trail by four. They want to break this scoring drought, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Chamberlain against Harper. Spinarkel passes to Harper. Shot clock at five. And taken away by Johnson. Takes it inside. And then Johnson with the dunk. Creating offense through working hard on defense. Boy, I love seeing that. I know you do. Going all the way with it, too. Yeah, you see the tenacity from them on both ends. Impressive sequence. And here are the Mavericks now. The Pacers making the shot. Spinarkel passes to Harper. Dallas moving the ball around. Three on the clock. Ellis finds West. Fades and shoots. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Taking full advantage of his height that time to get the shot off over the defense. And even if you're right on him, that's a difficult shot to contest. Now, here is Chamberlain. That's good from Johnson on the assist by Chamberlain. Johnson's got six. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. 107 left in the first quarter of the game. West kicks to Ellis. Pass to West. Stepanovich grabs the miss. Indiana leading by six. Now Chamberlain. Pass to Stepanovich. the pass to Chamberlain takes the 13 footer and they'll turn it over could not get off a shot 24 second violation Dallas making a switch here Sumner's checked in we've got 28 seconds left here in the opening quarter kicks to Ellis West up on top 17 seconds left in the first quarter. Tries from 16. It's rebounded by Indiana. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. They accomplished exactly what they set out to do in that game. Took control of the tempo, 
and then imposed their will, and it was a wrap from there. Just an absolutely dominant performance for them. They're only getting stronger as this season progresses. And so it's Indiana holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We've got more in store for you right after this. you've enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one now let's take a moment to get your guys take on the scoring so far for Indiana Mavericks trail by eight pass to Vincent here's Sumner no one near him that's in there, coming off the assist from McGuire. Normally, McGuire's looking to shoot, so it's great to see him pass the ball, set up others. Outside Lowry, he dishes it to Williams. And a great job by the D, contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Dallas shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Love the balance here, not just falling in love with the three ball inside and outside action. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. that if anything's changed in the past few years, it's the flow of the game. You agree? Yeah, there's a lot more fluidity to NBA offenses. We're seeing better passing than ever before, and frankly, it makes for a more entertaining brand of basketball. That sounds like Fratello basketball to me. That's something you really adhere to, don't you? If you play in the 80s, that's Fratello basketball. Yeah. <laughs> Aguirre with it. Lowry picks him up. Aguirre passes to Ellis. To the middle. It's stolen by Lowry. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. And the shot goes in. I bet Coach loves to see this. Attacking the interior for a safer shot. Passes to Nymphius. Here's Sumner. Now recovering. Pass to Aguirre. Goes up on the block. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. And so it's Roberts. He'll bring up the ball for Indiana. Leading by five. That will be a getaway game for them. A one-game road trip. Now refines Williams. A fader. Rebound by Sumner. The fadeaway was the right shot there because he got his attempt away from the defender. But the touch was poor. And the dunk by Aguirre. Boy, Aguirre's timing on that alley-oop. Superb, great chemistry between he and his teammates. The pass to Roberts. Here's Williams. That one, no good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Here's Ellis. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. That was the 2K drive as that move deserved another look. Aggressive take there to get inside. Looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Lowry dishes to Johnson. Williams trying to break free. Johnson's shot is off. Seemed as if he had the angle to finish, but the defense did just enough to throw him off. To the left side wing. Aguirre against Johnson. Now, here is Aguirre. He's guarded closely. Ellis surveying the D. Aston Impius. Outside, Aguirre. Ellis with a screen on Johnson. Back to Ellis. Four on the clock. 
A three for McGuire. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Dallas making a switch here. Indiana leading. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Well, we don't have to guess what they're going to be talking about. We know what the deal is. Yeah, the offense has been throttled. They have to figure this thing out. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Passes it to Black. Here's Nymphius. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Out left to the wing. Six on the shot clock. Davis, the pass to Aguayo. The offensive rebound. Nymphius. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. The Pacers shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Dallas. Only given up two points this quarter. Outside, Aguay. Aston Impius. It's rebounded by Indiana. Williams has got rebound number five here tonight. Here is Zesting. There's the pass to Williams. Indiana again missing for Dallas. They've gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Shot from the wing, and there it is for him. Blackman's got his second bucket of the night. And I like how versatile he is on offense. Capable of burning defenses in so many ways. Here's Seasting. Gets the front of the rim and out. Here's Dallas. Big run right now going for him. 11-2. Here's Nymphius. He's guarded by Williams. High post, Davis. Back to Aguayo. Carter pulls it in. Just unable to get into any kind of rhythm this quarter. And that's the way it goes sometimes. But his team is doing what they can to try and get him going. Off on the layup. 
the Mavericks leading. Here's Blackman. Pass to Vincent. Aguirre with it. Defended by Carter. Fades back. Kellogg pulls it in. Kellogg's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Nice effort from Kellogg. I like the motor on this guy. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. The Pacers making a change here. Kelly's checked in, and Dallas also making a switch. Turner's checked in for Vincent. One shot. And that one misses. The Mavericks trailing. McGuire passes to Blackman. No problem on the jumper in close. Blackman's got four this quarter. The D can't allow Blackman to get deep inside because he knows what to do when he gets there. Here's Carter. Good on the 13-footer. And the lead coach just keeps changing hands. Five times. And we still haven't gotten out of the first half. It has been something. Here's Nymphius. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Count the basket. Blackman with the stop and pop. Quick trigger release. And it's the Pacers with the ball. So timeout called here. The first for Indiana. I guess Coach isn't happy right now with the distribution of shots. And some of the shots we've been seeing, my goodness, they've been contested, difficult shots. And when they're not dropping, it's time to change the game plan. You can't get too focused on forcing things. They need a better offensive rhythm right now. for Indiana. Chamberlain comes in for Zista. So it's the Pacers now. They trail by one. Here's Kellogg. Aguirre covering. Kellogg passes to Chamberlain. Shot clock at six. Kellogg can't get it to go. Nymphius pulls it in. Nymphius has got rebound number eight now on the night. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Davis finds Turner. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. 
Now, here is Chamberlain. Carter, the pass to Kellogg. The Mavericks pull it in. Wires got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Passes it to Turner. Here's Nymphius. Blackman, the pass to Turner. 13 feet away. And Bowie pulls it down. Pacers trail by three. Here's Kellogg. McGuire covering. Kellogg can't get it to go. Here are the Mavericks now. They're on a 17-6 run. Blackman, the pass to Turner. And it's Turner finishing it off. Mm, and the defensive effort like that, that's why they're trailing. Exactly. Oof! You have to meet the offense's physicality. And they <laughs> did not. Yeah, because when you don't, this is what happens. They throw it right down in your face. And an easy call for the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that whistle. Pretty obvious. The Pacers shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And he makes both free throws. Mavericks leading by three. Pass to Spinarkle. That falls. Nice speed that time from Harper. Smart read by Harper. Very willing to give it up. Here's McKenna. And he stuffs that one home. Hey, height is just a number when you play with his tenacity and force inside. An absolute fearless approach by him to get the score. Harper the pass to Spinarkle. Now here's West. Out to the right wing. And there's the pass to Spinarkle. Pulls from the top of the key. And it's off the back rim. No good. Pacers trail by three. McKenna the pass to boot. It's rebounded by Dallas. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Chamberlain against Harper. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Jackson is checked in for Turner. Pays are shooting 32% overall right now. Not one of their better showings. Pass to McKenna. Now Johnson. Stepanovich. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. What hustle on the offensive glass. Finding ways to capitalize. Paying off that hard work. Passes it to Spinarkle. Now West. his pocket here's McKenna fended by West here's Stepanovich good on the bucket Stepanovich has got four points now in the quarter and the chess match Clark continues seven exchanges of the lead and we're still in the first half and the dunk by Jackson Way to set up the alley-oop. Oh, the catch and flush. If they can come all the way back, we'll remember that one. Chamberlain, the pass to Johnson. Fade away. And that's collected by Harper. Couldn't convert the bunny. That one was right there for him. 
pass to Spinarkel. Fader on the way. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. 40 seconds left to play in the first half. And the pass to Johnson. Fades. Chalk up two there. Stepanovich has got eight. Hard to pass up a mid-range shot like that when you find yourself with that much space. Outside Jackson. Pass to West. Passes it to Spinarkel. Dishes to Jackson. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Five on the clock. Pass to Spinarkel. Puts up a three. And Bowie pulls it down. Johnson outside. And that one released in time, but no good. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Pacers out in front, up by one. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Here is Davis. No points in the game yet for him. The pass to Blackman. Here's Nymphius. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Nymphius. Davis looking for an opening. Five to shoot. Here's Blackman. Defended by Carter. Blackman shot is off. Indiana leading. Driving inside. Kellogg. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Pretty play by Kellogg. He makes sure the shot gets in the air even while he's being fouled. Pacers have missed two free throws in the game going five for seven. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. the first one drops and so he makes both from the line Mavericks trail by three. Davis, the pass to Vincent. Outside, Aguirre. Pass to Vincent. Here's Blackman, defended by Carter. The putback, great positioning on the putback. That was a putback. Relentlessly attacking the glass. Harkey really pulls out all the stops, doesn't he? Doesn't hold back at all. Yeah, he knows his team counts on him for these saves. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, that's what we call a good foul. Make them earn it at the line. It might not be pretty, but that's the right play in that situation. He saved the layup with that foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Davis, the pass to Vincent, inside. Aguirre against Carter. 
And the shot goes in from McGuire. McGuire's got it all tied up now for the Mavs. Working his way inside for a high percentage look there. Nicely done. A bumpy start to a new half for this D, though. They kind of gave that up. And a bit of a shooting slump here. I mean, he can't seem to get anything going. As a coach, this is when you want to draw up something that gets him an easy look at the rim, or at least a chance to go to the line. Passes to Nymphius. Six to shoot. Here's Blackman. Misses off the right iron. The Pacers shooting about 33%. Not happy with the play on that end. Here's Carter. Nymphius pulls it in. Nymphius has got 11 rebounds in the game. Davis drives in. McGuire. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. Carter down low. He's guarded by Davis. Offensive rebound. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Clearly, he got it. No doubt. Good job by the officials. Yes, we are giving credit to the officials. The Pacers have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. Shooting two. That's good from Johnson. So Johnson hits two of them. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Blackman. Here's Nymphius. Now the pass to Blackman. Gets a very good look and converts. Blackman's got ten. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Here's Kellogg, wire covering. Kellogg, that's good. Kellogg's got four points in the quarter. Assertive move. You can tell this game's heating up. Davis, the pass to Vincent. Dallas moving it around. Here's Aguirre, and too long on the shot. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Indiana Pacers. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Here's Seasting. Nymphius pulls it in. For Dallas, they've gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Davis, the pass to Aguirre. Pass to Nymphius. To the left wing. Here's Blackman. Hands the shot from the wing. He's got 12. Ties it up with that one. You know he's such a smart scorer. Not forcing anything, letting the opportunities come to him. Here's Kellogg, and that one is good. And the Pacers lead by two. This is clearly a man on fire. Was tremendous last game. And that has bled into this game. Just a force on offense. And the Mavericks call time here.
Spinarkle passes it to Nunvius. Lock at six. Here's Blackman, and he gets it to go from the high post. Blackman's got the game tied up here for the man. Pacers have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Pass to Williams. There's the dish to Carter. Driving in. It doesn't go for him. And the Mavericks going the other way now. Blackman, the pass to Spinarkle. Outside, Aguirre. Here's Blackman. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And uh, Indiana shooting a pretty brutal 29% since the break. Kellogg, that's good. Boy, great job of playing through contact there. Kellogg is tough. For Dallas, they've gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Here's Nymphius. He's guarded by Williams. There's a screen. Here's Blackman. And it's good off the back rim and in. Blackman's got eight points here in this quarter. And he can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch it. And the Pacers call time here. Both teams making some changes here. Looking around. The pass to Chamberlain. Here's Bowie. Six on the shot clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Here's Chamberlain. No good from outside. And got to be honest here. I mean, he should have made that. I bet it's not going to affect his confidence, though. He's going to keep taking those shots. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's 
Chris Carter. Williams trying to break free. And once again off the mark by Indiana. The Mavericks have gone 7-13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. And Turner takes to Harper. Back to Turner. Over to the left wing. Outside Harper. Pass to Turner. Launches a three. They get it again. Here's Nymphius. And Dallas again with the bucket. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Chamberlain against Harper. Chamberlain dishes to Kelly. It's Carter, high post. Mavericks with the rebound. Memphis has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Outside, Aguay. Here's Memphis. Back to Aguay. And stolen by Williams. Carter outside. To end the cold streak. Memphis pulls it in. Nymphias has got his 16th rebound on the night. Elbow shot is on the way. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. This is what Aguirre is out here to do. He looks to shoot and shoot often. And the Pacers call time here. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Chamberlain with it. Pass to Stepanovich. And stolen by Aguirre. Pass to Ellis. Outside, Aguirre. The pass to Ellis. Now, here's Harper. Six to shoot. Dallas moving the ball around. Sees the alley-oop. It's deflected. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot and get stops. Roberts has checked in for the Pacers. And Dallas also making a switch. Sumner's checked in. Pacers trail by six. Here's McKenna. Pass to Roberts. To the inside. Here's Johnson. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Johnson's got eight. 
And he could have gone straight up with it. But by fading away, this gave him more separation and allowed him security to drain it. And the dunk by Aguirre. Nice athletic play by Aguirre right at the rim. And uh, Indiana shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. Feeds it to Johnson. Banked in off the glass. He's got 10. Nothing like setting someone up. Feels better than making a shot. To me, at least. Sumner passes to Turner. The feed to West. It's blocked. And here is Johnson. Ten points for him. Here's McKenna. It's rebounded by West. No excuses. None. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. Swooping in for the easy finish there. That's how you do it. He knew he had space and made sure to get the easy one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the men. And Indiana making a change here. Lowry's checked in. And Dallas also making the switch. Jackson's checked in. Find the lane. Find the lane. shot. Here's McKenna. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Mavericks leading by seven. Sumner passes to Jackson. West with the ball. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 157 left here in the third quarter. Passes to Jackson. Lock at six. Now Ellis. Seven points in the game. Dallas again missing. Roberts looking for an opening. Pass to Stepanovich. Vincent's checked in for the Mavericks. Team foul. Substitution of Mavericks. Jerry Vincent. McKenna the pass to Roberts. Here's McKenna. Guarded by Jackson. And it's sent back by West. Ellis, left side. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Pacers trail by seven. Here's McKenna. He kicks to Roberts. Lowry passes to McKenna. Shot clock at six. Here's Stepanovich. And that one's good, Stepanovich. Stepanovich has got 10. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. Mavericks leading by five. And there's the pass to Ellis. And West now, top of the key. Jackson setting the pick here for Ellis. Off the mark from 16 feet out. They have a chance to go two for one here, Mike. Yeah, you need to time it right. Pass to McKenna. Over Jackson. McKenna no good. Well, that's not a bad look. They missed that chance, but he'll get them to fall if he gets space like that. Sumner passes to Jackson. There's 14 seconds left to play in the third. Dallas moving it around. Shots good by Ellis. He'll hit those if you leave that much room. Need to do a better job of closing out. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. And we've watched three so far in this one. Mavericks lead by seven. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. It's the fourth quarter. 
The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Here is Seasting. Passes it to Kellogg. Fader on the way. No good off the back of the rim. And people will say he shouldn't take that mid-range look. But he had the space and is capable of making it. Blackman, the pass to Harper. Here's Blackman. Aston and Vias. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Seasting passes to Carter. Over Blackman. And it's Carter missing. He's out there just forcing it. Terrible mindset to have with the way he shot so far. There's the pass to Nymphius. To the wing on the left. Here's Blackman. It's rebounded by Indiana. Williams has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. To the paint. Johnson, the pass to Seasting. Here's Kellogg. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Indiana. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Mavericks making a switch here. Aguirre's checked in. the second so he makes them both Dallas leading by five Harper the pass to Blackman here's Vincent outside Aguirre to the wing right side pass to Harper lock at six 16 feet away and the rebound goes to the Pacers Carter outside. Here is Seasting over Aguirre, and the shot is long. Passes it to Black. Here's Nymphius, covered by Johnson. Now, here is Aguirre. The high post shot. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got his sixth rebound on the night. And stolen by Aguirre. Here's Harper. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Refusing to be denied. Harper making the extra effort and getting the end one opportunity. falls for Harper. A steady hand at the point. Derek Harper is someone who can score, create for others, plus he's a really good defender. Outside Williams. Here's Kellogg. Trying to get open at Johnson. Shot is good, and the Mavericks lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Kellogg. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Aston Envious. Aguirre with it. He gets it in there. 
and the Mavericks lead by eight. Pretty intense play from Mark Aguirre, and you just have to love the focus he's showing on the offensive end. Seasting passes to Carter. Here's Kellogg, and stolen by Aguirre. Fast break, Dallas. Here's Vincent. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Take a look at how smart Harper is with the ball. Making sure he's setting up his guy, not just moving it around. Davis has checked in for Derek Harper. with possession here. 11 point game. Seasting passes to Williams. And he comes up with the deuce. Great timing on the bounce pass on a dime. And it's Davis with the ball for the Mavericks. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. The 19 foot shot, and it's in off the backboard. Blackman's got the lead up to 11 now for the man. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this lead can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Now we'll take a moment for our presentation of our player of the game, Mark Aguirre. You know, I've really liked how aggressive he's been getting inside. He's finding lanes and avenues to the rim and making the defense pay when he does get inside. Uh, I thought he really helped lead the charge for his team. They had not been playing very good basketball coming into this game. And that's when a team needs its star players to step up and stop the bleeding, just like he did tonight. Now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Indiana's head coach was saying to the team. He is not pleased, and he told them they have to make a push right now. He said, look, we got to make a move, or I've got to pull the plug. Pretty blunt stuff, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Outside, Williams. Here's Blackman. Now the pass to Memphis. Kicks to Davis. Dallas moving the ball around. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Blackman. Now here is Aguirre. From about 19 feet, it's rebounded by Indiana. 
Williams has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Here's Kellogg. Here's Seasting. Here's Williams. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Indiana. Curves Williams at the line for two. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Mavericks leading by nine. Passes it to Vincent. Aguirre with it. Here's Nymphius. Pass to Vincent. Outside Aguirre. Davis up top. Outside Aguirre. Just five to shoot. The pass to Blackman. This one for three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Here's Kellogg. Indiana again missing. And the D daring him to prove he can make it from that spot. Unfortunately for him, not able there. And it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. Here's Seasting. It's rebounded by Dallas. Vincent's got seven rebounds in the game. Davis, the pass to Aguirre. Here's Nymphius. He's guarded by Williams. Ring shot on the way. Rebound by Williams. Even though they came up empty, that's exactly the shot they want. They'll take that kind of look every time down the floor. Hopefully with a different result next time. Here's Kellogg. Poked away. Pass to Zisting. Fires from deep. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Mavericks leading by nine. Outside, Davis. Passes it to Black. Pass to Nymphius. Here's Vincent. Down to five on the shot clock. No good on the shot. Here's Kellogg. From 15 feet away, here's Williams. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. Williams has got six points in the quarter. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. Feeds to Davis. To end the drought. And it's good for two. And the Mavericks lead by nine. And the Pays is shooting 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. Here is Seasting. Aguirre covering. And there's the bucket from Seasting. Inside, amongst the trees, Seasting relies on his quickness. That's how he beats bigger guys. The pass to Black. Can't hit that one. Excellent D there from Williams. And uh, Indiana shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. Third team foul.
first free throw is good. Johnson, he's checked in for Indiana. Drops them both. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Mavericks. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Nymphius. He's guarded by Williams. Dallas moving it around. Just five on the clock. Pass to Blackman. Over Carter. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Davis, the pass to Nymphius. Passes to Black. Here's Nymphius. He's guarded by Williams. Pass to Vincent. Down to five on the shot clock. Now, here is Aguirre. Deflected by Johnson. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Ellis, he's checked in for Dallas. And so it's Indiana with it. Trailing by five. Seasting passes to Johnson. Johnson right side. And the pass to Carter. Goes up on the high post. The shot misses. And the Mavericks going the other way now. And a wide open look here for Ellis. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Seasting passes to Johnson over Ellis and the Pacers can't get it to go Mavericks leading by seven Davis finds Ellis here's Nymphius here's Blackman six to shoot Johnson with the rebound Johnson's got four rebounds now tonight Lays it up and banks it in. Points they needed right there. You like the fact that he took it right to the rim. High percentage look at an important juncture in this game. And the Mavericks call time here. And Coach spots something that he doesn't like. He'll most likely mix things up from here. And good coaches are always willing to change up a game plan. Not a bad timeout.
right side Davis. Ellis outside. Here's Nymphius. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Blackman. Dallas, no good that time either. His shooting has just dropped off in this quarter. He needs to rediscover his rhythm. From about 16, Johnson can't get it to go. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Mavericks. They've led by as many as 11 points. Ellis outside. Pass to Nymphius. Five to shoot. Right wing. Here's Blackman. Pacers with the rebound. Johnson's got six rebounds here tonight. He dishes it to Carter. 131 left in the fourth. This is it to Johnson. The shot from 20 feet away. It's rebounded by Dallas. Normally, he knocks that down. The defense got a gift. Nice move. Blackman's shot is off. Offensively, he just seems to be out of gas in this half. I'm not sure what he needs to get his shooting on track. Carter kicks to Johnson. Here is Seasting. Kicks it out to Johnson. Over Davis. Johnson's shot is off. And he commits the intentional foul. And the Mavericks call time here. They're up by five. 43 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Blackman, the pass to Nymphius. And he banks in the lane. And the Mavericks lead by seven. And, you know, they're in great position here. Got to think they've done enough to win it. Especially this late in the game. Tough to close the gap in time. Timeout called the Pacers. They're trailing by seven. Thirty-six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Boy, they're going to have to get a shot up quickly and then foul right away. It's going to be tough. They don't have much time to work with, but stranger things have happened.
Here is Carter. Offensive rebound. Williams can't cash in from close range. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. To the inside. Vincent's shot is good. And now it's a nine-point Maverick lead. What a way for them to finish the game, closing it out with some terrific play. We've seen too many games slip away late. They did a great job of putting this one to bed. Johnson surveying the floor. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. And Clark, a quality win for them in a hostile environment, found a way to eke out a win on the road. No home cooking, but they're still eating. I love it. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time.